I recently read To Do List Formula by Damon Zaharias. I have a love hate relationship with to do lists. I love them because they allow me to get things off my mind and focus on one task at a time. I hate them because they consistently make me feel like a failure. And I'm not alone here. According to I Done This, a popular productivity app, the average person fails to complete 41% of the items on their to do list. And I hate to do lists because they get excessively long and cluttered with insignificant tasks. This last hate is a common complaint of people who try the popular GTD, Getting Things Done system. GTD is an awesome to-do system for getting things out of your head and on to next action lists, but it's not great at differentiating between high and low value tasks. In the book To-Do List Formula, Damon Zaharias presents a method to help us get stuff out of our heads and into a well-organized master to-do list system where we can quickly identify our hits, high impact tasks. I've condensed Zaharias' master to-do list system into three acronyms, which fit inside a three by three master to-do list system matrix, MMM, ACE, LLL. The MMM acronym explains how to sort your to-dos. The ACE acronym explains how to write your to-dos. And the LLL acronym explains how to label and filter your to-dos. First, the MMM sorting method. Every task you put into your master to-do list system either needs to go on a major project list, miscellaneous list, or maybe list. Create a separate to-do list for every major project you're working on, like organizing the house, planning a trip to Hawaii, or building a website. When you have project-specific to-do lists, the resistance to working on any one project decreases because you have a list of next steps ready and waiting for you in one convenient location. It's like starting to cook a recipe with all the necessary ingredients laid out on the counter, rather than having to search through the fridge. All standalone, non-project tasks go in a miscellaneous list. Don't overthink it. If you can't easily connect a task to a project, just put it on the miscellaneous list. Having a miscellaneous list lets you capture tasks quickly and get them off your mind. Now, every task you add to your major project list or miscellaneous list must have a deadline. If you're not ready to assign a deadline to a task or a task is unclear, put it on the maybe list. Then schedule time to revisit your maybe list once a week or once a month to see if you're ready to apply a deadline to a few items and move them to a major project list or the miscellaneous list. Now, some people like to have a fourth list, a waiting for list. But to me, a waiting for list is overkill because I write emails to anyone I need something from and use an email management software service called SaneBox to automatically keep track of emails I'm waiting to hear back from in a separate folder. I also use SaneBox to reduce my email overwhelm by teaching it to direct incoming emails that don't need my attention today to a later folder. I'm consistently surprised how well the SaneBox's AI can distinguish between what matters now and what can wait. SaneBox, who are sponsoring this video, is offering a free trial with a $25 future credit to all Productivity Game viewers. If you're interested, click the link in the description below to try SaneBox. Now let's cover the ACE formatting acronym. Every task you put in your master to-do list system must have the same three-part structure. Active verb, bracket commitment, dash, expected result. Starting every task with an active verb makes your to-do list less ambiguous and more actionable. Just compare Chloe's birthday cake, expense report, car tires, with buy Chloe's birthday cake, finish expense report, rotate car tires. The second to-do list is simply easier to imagine and seemingly easier to do. Damon Zaharia says, the verb triggers something in the brain, prompting it to focus on completing the item. After you've written down a task, starting with an active verb, add a time commitment in brackets. Adding a time commitment to each task forces you to consider the total time required to complete a task, which makes you a more effective planner. For example, meet Steve to discuss the company rebrand may initially seem like a 30 minute task, but when you factor in the time to prepare for the meeting, the time it takes to get to the meeting, and the time to write a post-meeting summary email, meet with Steve to discuss company rebrand is a 90 minute commitment. Adding estimated time commitments also turns your tasks into fun challenges because you can't help but think, how can I do this task quicker than the estimated time? Now, the last thing you need to ask yourself when writing a task in your master to-do list system is what is the expected result? For example, buy Chloe's birthday cake, bracket 30 minutes, dash, Chloe has a great birthday. Finish expense report, bracket 15 minutes, dash, reimbursed. Rotate car tires, bracket 45 minutes, dash, 
tires last longer. When you add expected results to your tasks, your to-do list goes from things you should do to things you want to do. And ending your tasks with expected results allows you to easily select important tasks because you can quickly see which tasks move you closer to your goals. Now let's talk about the LLL labeling system. You will greatly enhance your to-do list system if you add three labels to your tasks when possible. Location labels, a low energy label, and a less than 15 minutes label. Now, depending on the to-do list application you use, these labels might be colored flags or tags. And if you can't use labels or don't like using labels, then just create three additional lists. First, assign a location label to tasks you must do in a specific location. For instance, job site for a construction manager, weekly team meeting for an office manager, or client office for a sales manager. I label all my errands with a general location label so I can quickly find them while doing errands around town. Next, add a low energy label to simple tasks that require minimal mental effort, like repetitive administration work. When you don't feel like working, but you need to get stuff done, you can filter tasks by low energy and get a list of tasks you can attack in a zombie-like state. And lastly, assign a less than 15 minutes label to every task you can complete in under 15 minutes. Labeling short tasks will allow you to hide those tasks when you make your daily to-do list so that you add longer, more significant tasks to your daily to-do list first. Think of it like hiding snack food so you don't fill up before a nice meal at a restaurant. Labeling tasks that take less than 15 minutes will also give you a list of tasks you can batch execute to save time. Tasks like phone calls, errands, and emails. Now, if you use this three x three master to-do list system matrix, your tasks will be sorted, formatted, and filtered in a way that will make it easy to create a daily to-do list filled with high impact tasks. Some people like to make their daily to-do list inside a to-do list app on their phones. Others like to use their calendars. I like to use a simple index card and pen. I put no more than seven high impact tasks on the front of the index card, and then write down a few tasks that take less than 15 minutes on the back of the card and circle items I can batch execute. Then I add approximate starting times next to each task on my card and leave buffer time in between. Each morning, I go back into my digital master to-do list system on my phone and clear the completed items before populating the current day's to-do list. This to-do list formula keeps me calm and focused because I know I'm not just getting stuff done, but getting the right stuff done. That was the core message that I gathered from To-Do List Formula by Damon Zaharyetz. This is a short book filled with great time management tactics. I highly recommend it. If you would like a one-page PDF summary of insights that I gathered from this book, just click the link below and I'll be happy to email it to you. If you already subscribed to the free Productivity Game email newsletter, this PDF is sitting in your inbox. This video was sponsored by SameBox, which you can try out by clicking the link in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and have yourself a productive week.